Hello everyone, welcome back to the weird side of YouTube. I'm your host, Author DC Knife, and this let's get out of that is Vespa's Test. I'm not sure what this is. I randomly found it on Steam because it's free and I'm poor. So uh let's see if you guys can actually hear me. I think that would be good. If the music gets loud, I'll have to turn it down again, but uh, let's get started. Night has fallen in Zenza, city of sapphires. Heavy, humid air gives way to cool and tempered streets. But here, after dark, they are far from empty. The toil of construction and the laughs of the natives alike sound through the lonely alleyways. Excuse me. Following a tip from a friend, you may make your way to one such alley tucked between the slums and skyscrapers. A sign reads, Vespa's Divining. The rest is in the local language and is Ill illegible. Determined not to waste the journey here, you take a deep breath and enter the tent. English, yes? As I thought. Don't be shy. Please sit. Is there always a chair behind you? Comfortable? Wonderful. I've been expecting you, of course. My name is Vespa. But, of course, you already knew that, didn't you? You're also about to tell me you're here for a personality test, correct? You want to know what's holding you back. Don't look so puzzled. Whether you knew it or not, it's why you came here. Though I realize maybe you weren't aware. In that case, I believe formalities are due, yes? It is my job, my duty, to see the future, whispered by all of the stars in the sky. Is what I would say if this were any other night. But tonight, well, let's just say it's not that kind of night. I'll be honest. Divining is an old magic. Very old. One of the first, in fact. Ancient people grasping futures that are now themselves ancient. And for every age, people search for different answers. Yesterday's gossip of kings becomes today's prayers for the stock market. Do I look like someone who can protect the stock market? My point is, I've seen hundreds, maybe thousands, sit across from me in that very spot, hoping to make sense of the unknowable. To put one foot in the dark. But I wonder, Felicia. Though it may not be my place anymore, whether the present can be seen as well. You know what I mean, don't you? I do. I'm glad. Then perhaps you would indulge me. The future, tonight especially, is so clear, but the now, not as much. And in doing so, perhaps I can learn more to see this thing which eludes me. The reality of each present moment and its inevitable flow to my domain. Information, you see, is a lot like darkness. <gasps> Darkness! To the darkness, or to darkness. Darkness, darkness. Darkness itself. The darkness. Darkness! It's the darkness of darkness. In darkness! The darkness. The darkness. In darkness. Darkness, darkness. You see. Darkness. The more there is, the less you see. Until eventually, there's only one sight left. 
and that sight will become a vision of your person that I will describe as I see. I'll focus specifically on the things that hold you back in life, patterns you may be stuck in. Whether they're true or not is for you to decide, but at the very least, it may bring a new perspective. No charge, of course. Good, because I'm broke. Well then, I invite you to take a deep breath, relax, clear your mind, let all the worries of today and tomorrow melt away. For a short while, let it just be you and I, drifting in an endless sea of stars. Every question you should aim to answer from the truest part of your being, though if you struggle in any particular one, ironically, your first intuition may be best trusted. Those are the instincts by which lives are lived, yes? Some of these questions may be, as I thought, a bit much in terms of tone, but each one is equally important. It will help bring into view a clearer picture of this vision I wish to divine for you. For some questions, a slider will appear, the right side representing something that describes you, and the left something that does not. Understand? I do now, I think? Yes. A quick learner. I like that. Oh, and before I forget, if you miss a question, you may return to it by pressing back. Now then, I invite you to take a deep breath. Let's begin. Question 1. How often do you think of death? Hmm, sing it out loud. I did mention these questions were a bit morbid, didn't I? Perhaps it wouldn't be better to start... Perhaps it would have been better to start a fresh face off with something light. You know what? Never mind that one. Instead, we'll say... How much do you enjoy the rain? I see. It's rather popular around here, I've noticed. Water being more valuable than gold and all that. Anyway, on to the real first question. How much do you worry about getting approval from others and pleasing them? Eh. The choices you made in your life, the major ones, would you say they've been made for you? No. Do you ever get the feeling you don't belong anywhere? Yes. I see. I imagine it's a common problem among... Well, let's just say I sympathize. Are you, like, being homophobic right now? It's a common problem among faggots. Just say it, bitch. Do you ever break rules and feel like typical constraints shouldn't apply to you? Mm, I don't think... I don't... Eh. Do you have a disdain for humanity? Uh, not all of them. Would you say it's better to fit in or stand out? Uh, depends on where you're at. Uh, like if you grow up in a hometown like I did, uh, standing out might get you murdered. Um, but if you're safe, I think standing out. You'd rather stand out, be shiny? I can respect that. How isolated do you feel, Felishka? Do you feel you lack someone who truly listens and is tuned into your needs? Unfortunately, yes. Good to know. I feel as though this next question could be unnecessary given the circumstances, but how anxious do you feel in social situations? A lot. I see. Better to have asked than not, I suppose. Has your health ever suffered due to some work you were doing? Yes. Have you ever worried that you'll lose control of yourself in public or go mad, even just in passing? I have had a mental breakdown in public, and yes, I am scared that it's going to happen again. The failures in your life, how humiliating are they to you? Eh, not the worst. Have you ever... Ah, wait, I already asked that one. How about this? How often do you dream every night? What about? When you intend to do something new, do you need someone to guide you? Yes. When you make mistakes, are you hard on yourself? Not really. Next, for the people around your age, would you say they are more successful in their work or studies? Not the ones that I know in real life. Uh, in the media, yeah, but in the media everything's shiny and pretty, so I'm going to say in the middle. I see. Regarding your intuition, do you often have the sneaking suspicion something bad is about to happen? Yes. I see. How often do you feel your world has failed you? All the time. Another one of those firm questions, no? If you were to die tonight, would you have any regrets? It depends on what you mean. Uh, if I were to die tonight, I would be at peace. Uh, there are things in my life that I've done that I wish I could undo, but living beyond tonight wouldn't change that. So, um, and I, there are a lot of things that I want to do, but if I'm dead, I'm not going to care. So no, I don't think I'm going to have any regrets because I don't believe in an afterlife. That's good to hear. Now I have my own perceptions, but 
Do you see yourself as unattractive? I didn't used to, but yes, now I do. Very interesting. If the world were ending and only 10% of the population could escape to space, do you think you deserve to be part of that 10%? Uh, no, but I don't think that rich people would deserve it either. And that's probably the only people that'll get there. No? I'm sorry to hear that. Though statistically, everyone would have an equal 1 in 10 chance, don't you think? I didn't say the 10% were necessarily the fresh of the harvest that I... Secrets. I assume you have them? They are the lifeblood of many a city. But do you have any secrets you'd not tell anyone, The ones, even the ones you love? I think everyone does. Hmm. Hmm. When you attend a party or other social gathering, do you feel dull and uninteresting? Yes. Are you currently disappointed with your love life? No, but I'm not super enthused about it either. <laughs> good, good. Do you often feel disconnected from others, even from those closest to you? Yes. You know, I realize you placed a lot of trust in me tonight. Do you worry I could be a thief? No. I suppose that's only natural, given the night so far. In general, however, how often do you worry about pickpockets, thieves, and home invaders? Home invaders all the fucking time. Being here, it's a non question to ask, but... How vigilant would you say you are that others not take advantage of you? Um, I try. Do people appear and disappear in your life more than you prefer? Yes. For some, that can be quite distressing, I've noticed. When dealing with people, do you always remain on your guard around others? Yes. I see. Do you ever wish the flaws of the world would accelerate so that a new world could be built in the ashes? Don't judge me, but yes, I fantasize about the world ending all the time because I think we're too far gone and that it's just getting worse. You do? There are some I've seen that would agree with you. A brand new world would certainly be a spectacle. Do you always prioritize your own needs? No. How often do you work to ensure what you do is perfect? The day you lived today, the choices you made, and how it went. Have you lived this day before? I don't like how this is making me think. Yes. When days begin to blur and you lose track of time, it's an odd kind of living. Oh, this is weird. What about those closest to you? Do you assume your loved ones will eventually betray you? Yes. Do you ever set up tests to see if others are truly on your side? I used to. I don't so much anymore, so I'm going to say in between. Would you sacrifice yourself to save your best friend? I would. Interesting. How about a loved one? I would. Do you think either of those people would sacrifice themselves for you? When you handle the responsibilities of life, do you often feel more like a child than an adult? Yes. I understand. Now here's a fascinating question. Do you feel that deep down you are different from others? Yes. I thought you might choose that. Are you a better listener or a better articulator? I can never articulate what I want to say with just talking. That's why I'm so good at writing, because I had to force myself to be. I think I would be a better listener, because I do love listening to people. Hmm, how about this one? Next. Do you feel you give more to others than you get in return? Yes. Is there any specific person in this world you are jealous of? Uh, no. I'm drinking in your answers to these questions with great interest. Each one paints you in a more vivid light. Now, where were we? Next question. How tightly do you cling to the people you love? Do you now? Farshi. You know, some could say it's rather odd that you should come to my tent all alone. Do you ever think about catastrophe and how it could get you if you're not on your guard? Yes. Mm, I can assure I'm too old to fear. Here, anyway. In regards to your ability to achieve, do you ever feel inherently incompetent? Yes. If you could rid the world of all crime, no matter the cost, would you? Yes. You would? Interesting. I wonder, what would the cost be? Ah, this next one I can relate to. How often do you struggle getting boring or routine tasks done? Very well. Do you allow others to decide what is best for you? Yeah. In your endeavors, does your health ever suffer by the pressure you place on yourself? Yes. Interesting. If the path to your goal is, shall we say, not an easy one, do you tend to do something else instead? 
Uh, yes. <laughs> Moving on. Do you ever feel you're defective or flawed in some inherent way? Yes. Do you frequently get angry when you can't get what you want? Not really. If you met a clone of yourself, do you think you would get along? Yes. Do you feel that you are not capable of making it on your own? Yes. And for this next question, think of your mother and father. Do you fear having no one in your corner to fend for you? Yes. Upon death, if you could relive your own life without the memories you have now, how likely would you be to take the deal? I would, because I would like to think that I wouldn't do some of the shit that I've done. Have you ever had a panic attack, nervous breakdown, that sort of thing? Obviously. Have you ever taken an acting class? Yes. Hmm, glad to hear it. How good a person do you feel you are? Eh. The question is worth more than the answer, wouldn't you agree? Hmm, what next? Oh, I know. The people that you find yourself with are drawn to, do you feel they often criticize you? Yes. The next question concerns your bonds with your fellow human. Generally, do you feel misunderstood by others? Yes. Noted. If you could permanently abolish all pain from your own body, would you? I live with chronic pain, so yes. I see an understandable disposition. How are you feeling? We're over halfway, you know. Let's keep at it. Concerning your choice of love, would you say you are drawn to those who are cold and fail to satisfy your needs? Yes. For this next question, consider those you turn to in times of hardship. Would you say those people are often unstable and unavailable? Yes. If I could prove to you that you're dreaming right now, would you want to wake up? This is freaking me out because my partner and I were just talking about how he thinks that this is a simulation, and he's kind of losing his mind right now, uh, because apparently light acts differently when people are looking at it, and kind of like how when a game, you're too far away from an object in a video game so it doesn't load, and then when you get closer to it, it loads because it knows you're there. That, that kind of made me think like that's what the light reacting to us is, and it's kind of freaking me out, and this is kind of freaking me out. But yes, I do want to wake up. If you can prove to me that this is a simulation and you can wake me up like the Matrix, then yes, please do. You would? What do you think your waking life would be like, I wonder? That one's just for you to think about. Damn, I was hoping. Do you believe in multiple timelines? Yes. Infinite possibilities? <laughs> Are you too hard on yourself or not hard enough? I'm not hard enough on myself. When others are infringing on your domain, your rights, your peace of mind, do you ever find it difficult to assert yourself and ask for space? Yes. Would you rather be lost in the depths of space or the depths of the ocean? The ocean. Do you long to be part of a group or find it hard to allow others in? Yes. How common is it for you to worry that the people you love will leave you? Yes. Do you often act on impulses that get you into trouble? I did before I got on medication for my bipolar. Do you feel like you have no special talents that really count in life? No. Do you ever feel like nothing you do is quite good enough? Yes. Have you ever traveled? When you travel, do you have a sharp distaste for doing it alone? Yes. Very well then. How resilient to despair would you say you are? What do you think of darkness? More darkness. What do you mean? Just in general? Like, am I scared of the dark? Or the metaphorical darkness? Innocent. Hmm. Next, what is... Uh, actually, let's go with... Do you see yourself as less intelligent than people that tend... No. No. Ah, uh, this next one is unfortunate. Do you ever feel that no one could truly love the real you? No. Hmm. Between strength and empathy, which do you value more? Empathy. Ah, uh, soft-hearted one. Just make sure you know when to be strong and turn away. When you were an animal, if you were an animal, do you think you'd be an animal people like? No, I'd be a rat. 
If your most beloved one, loved ones were to die, but they remained as ghosts, would you want that loved one to pass on to their next life or stay with you? I don't believe in a next life, and there's no way of knowing what the next life is. It could be hell, so I'd want them to stay. Hmm, a romantic notion either way, really. Just a few more questions and a clear picture will come into view. You've been a great guest. Have you ever wished to be something other than human? Yes. For this next question, allow me to be blunt. Do you waste a lot of time? Yes. Do you similarly ever wish you had more time? Yes. I can appreciate that. The value of time is not to be underestimated, you know. But on the other hand, a life lived joyfully is the definition of a life of well, no? The ones you fall for and love, do they tend to be not as committed as you'd hope? Yes. Oh, really? I'll keep that in mind. How about in school? Do you think you are were a failure? Yes. Now, I assume you have friends, yes? No. Or maybe you don't. Regardless, for the people you want as friends, would you say they are above you in some way? No. How often do you give in to the wishes of others? If, do you worry if you don't, they reject you or get angry? Yes. Hmm. If someone you care about were to pull away from you, would it make you feel desperate? Yes. Have you ever seen or felt the presence of a ghost? I I have had experiences. I've documented my experiences on this YouTube channel under my series of storyteller with what I thought at the time were supernatural beings. Um, but at this point, I'm completely atheist, and I think that was all in my head. So this is hard to answer. At the time, I definitely believed I did. So, but I don't now, so I'm going to say no. When you think about yourself and your ability to navigate the world, do you consider yourself generally clumsy and incapable? Yes. Do you believe in magic? No. I can see why you'd feel that way. Hmm. What next? Ah, now this is an interesting question. Each of us have different selves. Some we show to our family, others to our friends, much like actors and their different roles. But each of you have a true self. How often do you hide that true self or fear it's not what people want to see? Not really. Interesting. Are you happy with where you are in your life? No. Now, regarding your fears, is one of them that your faults will be exposed? Not really. I'll keep that in mind. Do you believe in an afterlife? No. Assuming there was an afterlife, would you want to spend time there? No. Do you find you are drawn to those who criticize or put you down? No. Next, we have... How often do you ask for what you need in your relationships? Not just with your loves, but with all relationships. Do you find it at all worrisome, bothersome, or even dangerous to ask for what you need? Yes. Would you rather live a beautiful lie or an ugly truth? A beautiful lie. An excellent choice. For some people, beautiful lies are all they have. How often do you make your own important decisions? Hmm, actually, let's ask it the other way around. How much do you mistrust your own- oh my god. Hmm, it's a peculiar question when you think about it. The less you trust your own judgment, the more likely you are to answer inaccurately. Would you rather never go hungry again or never fall ill again? I hardly ever get sick, so let's say hunger. How about the cleanliness of your spaces? Do you strive to keep everything in perfect order? Eh, in between. Would you say your greatest fear involves a situation or a physical thing? Situation. Fascinating. To be afraid of something that doesn't exist, though you live in a physical world. Speaking of, how about your greatest fantasy or desire? Is that similar? Situation. Oh, really? It must be nice to not need it in the physical world to experience some small part of it. Ah, uh, apologies, Felicia. I got off topic. Where was I? How skilled an actor would you say you were? When I was in drama class, I was horrible. Are you now? Are you now? Everyone follows an act in their daily life, no? Some deeper than others, it would seem. The next question concerns your bonds with your fellow human. Generally, do you feel misunderstood by others? Yes. 
Noted. And we're done. I do believe that's all the questions I had pre... Ah, um, rather, I meant... I mean, I have one final question. Let's see here. What, um... What is your favorite food? Would you say all of the foods? I do love all food. Oh, I suppose you're right. I didn't give you any options. Well, never mind that. It was just for fun, shall we say. I've always good on... Um, it's always good to end on something fun. What about you? Hmm? Me? Oh, uh... Falafel, I guess. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you for your participation. Rest assured, with the power vested in me, I have succeeded to see you in a new light. It is, after all, what you came here for, yes? Answers? Very well. Allow me to tell you what I see. I see a quiet bedroom late at night. Perhaps it's your bedroom at your home. You seem to be there, sat on the bed. You're curled up in a candid ball, casting worried glances every which way, and... Oh dear. Well, I... Forgive my tongue. It appears you are unclothed. <laughs> at least, that's what I'm being shown. Could I be mistaken? No, it does appear that way. A vulnerable state, perhaps? Anyway, it appears there is a thin carpet of water layering the floor, like mirrored glass reflecting the moonlight. Oddly enough, I cannot quite see the bottom, even though it couldn't be more than a finger deep. The doors are wide off their hinges, and the windows are all left agape. The cold breeze of the summer wind drafts through the house. Even the front door is wide open for any and all to enter. Suddenly, a splash and creaking in the floor. Your head twists to meet it. The tension in the air is dizzying, but then it passes. And again, this time from a different direction, the sound of sprinting like a rock skipping across the water, a, a river. Your face is tired but alert, frozen in fear. Your eyes specifically seem to drink each sound with blind fury. Again and again and again. Who can say what you see in each occurrence? Twisting legs skittering across the walls, shapes turning over themselves to attack? Excuse me. I do not know, but what is? But that is what I see, mm -hmm. a vision of vulnerability, though quite the jumbled one. Are you sure you answered truthfully? In any case, vulnerable people tend to feel very anxious, sometimes chronically so. You could also think of anxiety as their primary emotion. Often, they value safety quite a bit, amplifying potential dangers and minimizing their ability to contend and cope. They might worry so much about the bad things that could happen that it eclipses all other perspectives. We have a word for this where I come from. Monopia. Although in truth that word isn't exclusive to fear, that part is quite foreign. Quite foreign indeed. Hmm? Where was I? Right. Those with vulnerability tend to take unnecessary precautions to prevent accident or tragedy. Sometimes even in the detriment of their own agency. It's highly interesting to me that you would choose to come here in the dead of night, if this is true. Risk and harm are always a factor when going out into the city, but you here and now. I would rather think you'd be at home, meditating, cooking, or perhaps doing something to distract yourself. These kinds of rituals are common in vulnerable people and exist to quell the fear inside them. People with vulnerability also tend to suffer from psychosomatic ailments, such as ulcers and asthma. If you want my opinion, to fear the unknown is futile. But what do I know? If I were you, I'd at least try to take care not to allow fear to keep me from the brightest lights in life. And there are many, many waiting to be found. Well, Felishka, are you satisfied with my insights for tonight? Was there some truth, at least, to my reading of the present? I fully realize there might not be, in which case, I apologize for any inaccuracies. As I mentioned before, my experience in divining the present is limited, and in my vocation it's difficult to obtain opportunities to expand my practice. The present is such a fluid thing for each person here. It humbles me. Though you know where I come from, seeing others is almost considered a form of violence. So again, I thank you for giving me the chance to experiment. At the very least, I hope you learned something about yourself. We deal in perspectives here, above all else. Please, feel free to visit again, and maybe we will both see something new. 
And of course, perhaps some other night I can read your future, so I assume, as I assume you wanted my treat. But tonight of all nights, I believe it's best you head home, food for thought wrapped in hand. Do be careful, yes. Zanzar City is never quite as it seems at night. Hmm, well then. May you live forever, or long enough not to need it. You may now view alternative endings from the main menu. Thank you for playing. Wow! You guys, that was insane, because I am currently in therapy after a mental breakdown where I thought everyone was trying to kill me, and all kinds of crazy fucking shit. I still have issues where if I'm going out to eat, sometimes I think that the waiter or the cook poisoned me, my food or whatever. Um, it's... I don't know where it came from. I'm currently working on it with therapy. I'm on medication. I got a camera for the house. I refused to leave the house, and now I'm trying to get a stay-at-home job because I need a job. It's that bad. Like, I can't... I was refusing to leave the house for, like, a year, but it's been two years now, and I'm, I'm okay to leave the house now, but it's pre it was pretty bad there for a minute, and I'm really shocked that she got this. For, whoever made this is a genius, but this was really really good um if you guys like it it's on steam for free it's called vespa's test um and um i'm also doing let's plays of uh final fantasy 10 for my best friend who passed away it was his favorite game i'm also doing a let's play of kingdom hearts re chain of memories because that's my favorite game series and a let's play of odin sphere because it's cute um if you want more gaming content i upload all those um wednesday through friday and I also have, like, little discussion videos about games, whether it's about, like, the stories of them or what have you. And those are just random. But um, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!